Notre Dame at the North Carolina State Wolfpack today in Raleigh, North Carolina. And for Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com, I'm Phil Houck. And for the number 10 Irish uh, 2-0 today, arguably their first real test of the season after blowout wins in, in weeks one and two versus Navy and Tennessee State. North Carolina's power five. They're one and zero after a win last week over Connecticut, and they play very good defense. Uh, and they have a sixth year. This may sound a little bit familiar. A few things in common with the Notre Dame story: a sixth year hot shot transfer quarterback that is really a handful. Brennan Armstrong uh, is his name. He's a dual threat. Uh, as a starter at Virginia for most of his career, he passed for over 9,000 yards, 58 touchdowns, and rushed for uh, 1,363 yards and 22 touchdowns. Yeah, the Irish really are going to have to contain him. Uh, look for Notre Dame to maybe <clears throat> employ a, a, a spy on him, uh, a, a player assigned to, to cover him all over the field at all times. Uh, any one of the three linebackers would probably be a good candidate for that. Uh, Leah Fowl, Bertrand, or Kaiser. Uh, so look for that today in an effort to contain uh, that dual threat quarterback, Brennan Armstrong. He's good. Uh, offensively for the Irish, uh, uh, Sam Hartman over the years has had mixed results against NC State. Uh, and it's the same defensive coordinator that he'll be facing today that he has in the past. In three career performances, uh, he has, uh, he's gone one and two, uh, and he threw six touchdowns. That's not bad. Uh, but he threw six interceptions in those games. Uh, so a mixed bag for sure in those numbers, but let's face it in those games, uh, Hartman did not have the supporting cast, uh, at Wake Forest that he will have today for the Irish. Uh, this is a much more balanced Notre Dame attack, uh, than Wake Forest ever had. So expect a steady dose today of the Irish running game. Audric Estime, uh, I love this, four deep. Uh, Jadarian Price, Jabron Payne, and Payne, and Jeremiah Love. And that should allow Sam Hartman time to operate the passing game uh, efficiently today. Uh, the only other time Notre Dame played at, at uh, NC State was in 2016. And that game was played in the outer rings of Hurricane uh, Matthew. That's right. I mean, if you remember that game, and, and many of you do, uh, torrential rain came down throughout the game. Strong wind, uh, gusts of wind. It was just a, an incredibly bad playing uh, situation. Uh, in fact, part of the game was even delayed by uh, lightning in the area. Well, the Irish lost that one 10-3. Neither offense could really do anything that day. It was just a mess. Uh, well, guess what? No hurricane today, but there is an increasing chance of rain uh, during the game today. A uh, slight chance of thunderstorms. It could happen. Uh, not hurricane strength by any means. Uh, actually, the, the rain possibility ramps up to, uh, is, I think, about 60% by, by the end of the game. So uh, it should be okay for kickoff, but uh, may see some rain during the ball game. Temperature in the low 80s, that's not bad, especially for this time of the year in North Carolina. Yeah, I'm not picking a blowout for the Irish today. Uh, not like the first two games. Uh, but I will say this, based on the first two games, this Irish team just might be the real deal. And I'd say a blowout is possible. It is possible. That said, the Fighting Irish preview pick, Notre Dame 31 North Carolina State 17, ND 31, North Carolina State 17, the Irish cover, uh, because uh, the Irish are eight-point favorites. For more, check out FightingIrishPreview.com and Fighting Irish Preview all, all over social media. Uh, where If you go to FightingIrishPreview.com, you can buy me a cup of Irish coffee uh, for details on that. Uh, just go to the website and, and click the button that comes up. Uh, by buying me a cup of coffee, you can help keep all this uh, content that you get throughout the week uh, during the football season free. And that's the way we like it. So for Fighting Irish Preview and FightingIrishPreview.com, 
I'm Phil Houck. Those are my final thoughts before kickoff, and I'll talk to you after the game.